Hi everyone, this is Shane Armand Rowe, and it's time for another five and five directory opus tricks and tips. Let's get started. If you open up your viewer pane and you try to look at certain types of files, such as audio or photos, for example, the viewer pane will actually show you something useful. But what if you select a bin file or an exe or something that has no association, you get this shell icon. Now, maybe you'd like to actually see the binary representation of this because you're into that sort of thing. And there's no way to actually turn it on here. So let's run over to preferences, type in viewer pane, and you have two different options. If you always want it to show a binary, shut these two options off. If you would like to be able to just turn it on and off at will, turn on this show control bar. It'll be off by default. So if you apply that, you'll see that the little bar down there disappeared. We'll put it back on. There's actually a hex button right here to turn it that way. However, if you'd like, you can also just disable these. And the next time you look at something that does not have a shell extension, it'll automatically default to the binary view. The choice is yours. Ah yes, folder aliases, a great deep hidden secret inside a directory opus, I'm a huge fan. Go to one of your listers and type a forward slash and you will see a ton of pre-made aliases. That's right, that means if you wanna to get to a particular location, all you have to do is use the alias that you see here. But of course, directory opus wouldn't be directory opus if you couldn't add your own. So let's do that. Go to settings and preferences, type in alias, and you can actually add your own aliases. How great is that? So if I wanted to add that, uh, let's see, where's my desktop? If I wanted to add this directory opus files and we're gonna name it um, opus, easy peasy, right? Now we'll go to say the C drive, back up here, slash opus, and we're right back where we were. Very, very cool. All right, advanced file select. I think this is something that a lot of people may know about, but I think a lot of people don't. I'm gonna go ahead and hold down control and use my uh, mouse wheel to uh, increase some file sizes here, increase some size here so you can actually see. I am going to shift into, uh, let's see, let's go mix with no folders. So now we can see everything that's in every folder. Now let's say we select a couple of items. Now I don't know how many times you've had You've selected a whole bunch of items and then you let your finger off of the control key and you clicked when you're like, damn it, I just lost everything. Well, there is a checkbox mode, which we've talked about in another video, but let's say that you've got a whole bunch of selections already. You can easily go up to file, select other, and there's some really great things in here. So you can reselect files used in the last copy or move job, um, select the same extension as what's highlighted, zero byte folders, uh, select source, files that are uh, to go to the destination. Um, let's see what other kind of stuff is in here. Selection to check boxes. This I use a lot. Selection to check boxes. Now you go to checkbox mode and all of your selections are automatically checked. So now you're safe from an accidental uh, miss selection or miss control click, which is great. Now you can't really turn this off without actually going back up to folder and turning off checkbox mode. I don't need uh, I don't need the lecture there. Perfect, now checkbox mode is off. Say you wanna select all the JPEGs. Easy peasy, select same extensions. That's pretty neat. And of course, there's a couple of other items in here. There's invert selection, select by pattern and some other good stuff. But these are sort of the ones that I think a lot of people uh, would be interested in. Printing your folder. Now this has a million and one uses. Uh, it's totally customizable, you're gonna love it. So let's say we're in my directory opus 13 files and I go to tools, print export file listing. So again, you can make your own presets, which is great because you can get really detailed here. What's the source folder? Well, it defaults to whatever the source was here. Calculate subfolder sizes, and you can decide how you want to look at this. Now, I like flat view, uh, no folders, no folders. I don't want to see any folders. Just show me all the files and all the folders and tell me what they are. Now you can send this to a printer, of course, or to a PDF writer, or whatever, output it to a file plain text, comma separated, how great is that, right? Um, and of course you can do the clipboard and you can do plain text, CSV and whatnot. So we'll just do the clipboard for now. 
And here is your view. You can completely customize what the output looks like using this very comprehensive editor to say, I want the name, I want the size, type, blah, 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 blah. Make it your own, of course, and then hit OK. It says the folder printed successfully. Let's jump over to Notepad, paste it in, and there you go. It is uh, exactly what was promised, a perfect view of your directory. Awesome stuff. Image conversion, yes, of course. A lot of people know about this, but I don't think it's made it in a five and five, so let's talk about it. Go to our photos. We have JPEGs, PNGs. We even have one of these, these uh, high efficiency or high, what is it called? High encoding efficiency, whatever. I don't know what it's called, exactly what it stands for, but Directory Opus supports it. Now, this won't, you can't show this in um, say Discord. You, if you copy this over to Discord, Discord will look at you like, what are you talking about? So you can see I've previously converted it to a JPEG. Let's do it again. I'm gonna select it, right click it, convert image to whatever you want, JPEG. Perfect, now it's the same picture, only this JPEG will actually work in Discord or your nonlinear editor or whatever where this high efficiency encoded, whatchamacallit, from the iPhone will not do that. And of course you can do things in batch, right? So we can take and select all the JPEGs, right click, convert image to PNG and we'll get PNG versions of everything. Very quick and very simple. And of course there is, because it's directory opus, right? And we're gonna grab these P, uh, these JPEGs again. All right, we'll grab these, right click, convert image, right? This time, instead of just picking what format, we're gonna do the whole meal deal. Convert image, right? You got presets, because you know, it's opus. Now, what do you wanna convert it to? You got these options. What kind of quality do you want? Say for a JPEG, you can select the file quality. Lossless JPEG if possible. You can do built-in cropping. We're not gonna play with that too much. You can flip it. You ever have one of those deals where you have a whole bunch of pictures that are sideways and you could just, you just wanna rotate them? You can do that, right? And you can even use uh, EXIF information if your camera supports it. Resize on the fly. I love this, check this out. So what you can do is say, I want to uh, reduce or enlarge, something like that. I want to make it all into thumbnails, small, big, medium, or custom size. I love this, I love this. So essentially, you can say, preserve the aspect ratio. And if you were to choose, say, I don't know, 200 for your X or your width, it'll automatically take care of the Y for you. So you're not gonna get some weird, skewed, stretched out looking picture. Never reduce, never enlarge. You got the same bit all across the board. Uh, I'll leave that just for fun. Now you can replace the original file with an ask, create a copy or uh, replace without asking or send to the destination, which is what we're gonna do. And you can even <laughs> you can even rename on the fly using regular expressions. Uh, it's just, it's amazing how powerful directory opus is, but let's go ahead and stick without the rename. We'll do a simple resize of all these. And while we're uh, with the JPEGs, we're gonna convert them to PNGs and uh, oops, and we'll say uh, best quality. All right, here we go. And you can just say all, if you want them all to go, and there we have it. And you can see here, there, that one's 200 by 200, 200 by 112, and you can see the aspect ratio has been preserved. It's one of the most handy features. Why have another tool to do image conversions for you when it's built into directory open? Listen, I hope you like what you saw. If you did, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Look in the description down below for an exclusive 25% discount on Directory Opus. I'm not making a penny on this. I'm passing all the savings on to you guys so that you guys can get Directory Opus and own your own copy. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and we will see you next time.